Begin to praise the name of the Lord. Check yourself. You have received. Check yourself. Wonderful, wonderful. Put your hand together for Jesus. Miracle everywhere. Look at the cross. Do you see over there too? All sins. See the crotch is up. I say get up because you are free. Look at him coming. Make a way for him. Anywhere you are, you are the one holding yourself. The power has been released. If you are not rising up and walking, you are the one holding yourself. Open your eyes and see. The cancer pain is gone. Wonderful. Look at mama. Look at mama. Put your, tonight is tonight. You will not live here with your problem. Check yourself. Look at that. Look at that. Enugu, are you seeing? Look at what is happening over there. As you describe your miracle, come to all seas. Power, 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 power have been released. In all the locations, check yourself. Come, 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 come this way. God is great. Check yourself, check yourself. As you discover, you need to come. Outside, bring them in. Bring them in, bring them in. Check yourself. Miracle night. Miracle night. Wonderful. Broken legs are mended. Broken bones are joined. Amen. Shake yourself and come. Check yourself, check yourself. This is the time to demonstrate what God has done for you. As you see your miracle, please come to all seats. From outside, everywhere in all the halls, as the Lord is touching you, look at the crutches. Put your hand together for Jesus. If you were blind, please open your eyes. If you brought somebody deaf and dumb, check that person right now. You will discover that by the special grace of God, he can hear, he can speak. Check up, check up, check up. Nobody should be a spectator. Nobody should be a spectator. Come to all seats. Many people are there already, but come and join them. Let's hear your tonight is the final night. Check yourself. And if you listen over the radio, check yourself too. Because the power has been released. And if you are in the hospital and you listen through the satellite or, or all those things, you are connected. Check yourself because you are delivered. You are healed. Check yourself and come. Check yourself and come. All our leaders, please, our overseers, and group coordinators, please join them to interview many, many people that are here already in all seats. Keep checking yourself. The power is still at work. The power is still at work. The power is still at work. Anywhere you are, the power is touching you there. Check yourself. As you describe the miracle, come quickly because want to stand taking the testimony. Please, our counselors, get them ready. We want to start the, our overseers and leaders, please. Get them ready. We want to start taking the testimonies now. And as we start the testimony, just be checking yourself. You must not live here with your problem. The Lord have done it. The power has been released. Don't wait till tomorrow. Right now, you have got it. Come and let's hear your testimony. Come quickly. Wonderful.
Come quickly, come this way. Maybe your miracle happened on Thursday, you have proof now, and you are sure what God has done, join them. You have not given your testimony, join them now. Our, our leaders, are we ready, want to start? If you are ready, please bring the first, second, and third, line them up, and then while others are being interviewed, you describe your miracle, please come to hall number six. Very quickly, very quickly. Tonight is power night. Already the power has been released. Keep coming, keep coming. As you describe your miracle, join them in hall six. Our leaders, please, let's have them. Join them in all seats. Wherever you are, you must not live here with your problem. Come to all seats and let's hear your testimony tonight. Please, can we start? Can we start? There are so many people over there. Pastors, please, let's start. to begin the testimonies now but as you are listening to the testimony be checking yourself because the power has been released and as you discard your miracle don't carry don't hide it come to all six let them have the first testifier before you, my names are Blessings John. By his grace, I'm saved. I'm from one group of this tree. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. It was 2014 when our GS came to Enugu here on August. That was when, after the program, that was when I had my second son. During that time, I was praying over for another pregnancy, and the Lord answered me. Along the line, I, as I registered for Antinenta, when I was eight months pregnancy, the doctor that examined me on that Antinenta day, he told me that, Madam, your, your tummy is very big, and your tummy shows that you have reached nine months. And I told the doctor, doctor, I have not reached nine months. I just reached eight months. He said that he's going to send me for emergency scan, of which I went. After the scan, the result came out. It was very bad that I had infections, and where the baby lies, there's much flu. So I, when I took the result, the following week, I went for continental again. Another doctor that saw that result, the doctor told me again that, Madam, this result is very bad. We are going to send you for another scan. I said, no problem. Along the line, me and my husband were praying over it because we're not happy. We're praying, we're praying. Reaching a day, I was sleeping in the dream. Why in the dream, I found myself in a place where there's floor everywhere and I don't know where to pass. I said, where will I pass? My brethren, behold and behold. When I look at my back, I saw our GS, and he told me, go. As soon as he commanded me, go, the whole floor dry up. 
and I went on a dry land and I wake up. When I wake up, I went for the second scan. The scan, the result was very good. There was no problem. You cannot trace any stress of any problem. And that was how I delivered successfully. Even after delivery, one of the female doctors came and met me. Say, Madam, did you deliver drugs? I said, No. I deliver on my own. He said, The God you are serving is a great God. Continue to serve Him. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Another one, it was last month when our GS went to Calabar for signs and wonder for the needy. Brethren, throughout those six days of the program, I was in the program. But on, Sun on Monday, I felt sick. Why then, on that very Monday, the Lord touched me. But after that, when I went home, I was praising God. My neighbor, they came into my, our parlor, and one of them that came in, went, he came and embraced, embraced me. But along the line, the following the following Tuesday, the sickness came up again. I could not eat. I could not do anything. But on that Tuesday, I came back, I went back to the church. I said, God, see me through. After that Tuesday, I was, throw, I was lying down through out in the church. But after that, being the following day on Wednesday, I couldn't go to work. When I was lying down in my house, behold, the sleep carried me, and I saw our state pastor with our GS. They sat together. When I went, GS stood up. He stood up for me to sit down. I said, no, sir. Why then? He touched his hand on my head, and I woke up. That was the, head, that was the end of that headache because I was having a very severe headache that could not allow me to do anything. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen! The next testifier, please make it brief and go straight to the testimony so that we can take, we have many people there. Praise the Lord! My testimony is, I had a swelling on my breast, so, and it's a bit long. I don't know when, I can't explain when this thing started, but it a bit long, the swelling were there. So, I didn't let anybody know about it. I only told my mom and my sister, I keep all that for myself. This swallow, I've been going through all pains. The pains were so severe. So I heard that the man, our daddy in the Lord is coming to Enugu here. So I pray that God should help me to, because in a place I'm working, my madam doesn't allow us to move anyhow. So I pray that it's on that month that I must be in this program. As the Lord may have it, I'm here. So on Thursday, I came here with that swelling on my breast. So I prayed for it on that Thursday. The, thing was, the pain was so severe. I prayed for it on that Thursday. I went home. It was as if nothing happened. Then it was on Friday, that thing burst. I came here and prayed. After the, pray, the, the prayer of the man of God, I went home and for me to go and bathe. I saw that that thing has burst. Then on Saturday, the thing was dried up. I said, ah, ah, I, because any time I want to go and bathe, I'll be commanding that, I'll be talking to that thing as if it's a human being. That this place is not a place for you. You can't stay here. So the thing dried up on that Saturday. The pain was not there anymore. Put then, your hands together for Jesus. Praise the Lord. It was on Sunday. The, after uh, the man of God ministered to us, um, I went home. 
Then on Monday morning, I woke up, something to, uh, came into my mind that I should check that thing. I check on it because I said you, as you have dried up, you will not stay here. So that thing, as I, I opened my clothes to check on it, the thing fell down. So I even have it here on my hand. And, and I want to assure you, as the Lord has healed me, God will meet you at the point of your knees in Jesus' name. Put your hand together for Jesus. The swelling on the breast busted and the thing fell off and everywhere dried up. Please, when you get there, as much as possible, make it brief so that we can give chance to many people. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Say, praise the Lord. My name is Benjamin Uchechuku Obi. I am from Oji region. My testimony is about severe headache I suffered weeks ago with accompanying weakness of the body. On Friday's night, when our Father in the Lord was praying and during ministration, he said, the power of God will flow into that body. And it was as though he was speaking to me direct. Instantaneously, I felt a cold sensation from my head running through. But at the time this happened, I was encouraging another person, those who were counseling, I said, check up your body, not knowing that my miracle has taken place in my body. And the reason I didn't know, I take notice of it immediately was that the headache is quite subtle. When I'm busy, it will give way. But when I am resting now, it will come. But now, by the time now we retired on that day, getting back to the hostel now, I, dis I, I discovered that the whole thing has gone away, even up till now. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Severe headache that I've been troubling him for some time vanished after the prayer of the man of God. We'll take one more testimony before we go to the social media. Praise the Lord. Janet Mado, Oji River Region, Enugu Group of District. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, my name is Sister Janet Mado. I'm from Oji River region in Enugu in a group of this street. My testimony goes like this. Since I've been praying for sanctification, I'm always too harsh to my mother. Any small thing she will do, I will shout on her. But since I came this red crusade, I've been telling God, God, I want you to sanctify me. And again, before Throughout today, there's something that happens in our session. I didn't fear it at anything. I just see peace of God in my life. Praise the Lord. Another testimony goes to my mother. My mother is old enough that it, since we came for this crusade, she, she's hardly for her to get up and, by herself to go and urinate. And she used to urinate three or four times before they run up. But I was surprised this morning my mother can walk up by herself to go out and urinate. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Please. We go to social media, please. We have
while we wait for that. My name is okay, he's up now. Pastor Emmanuel Orchi from uh, New York, USA. By the message of God, the Lord did something in my life, and I would like to give glory to the Lord for that. I've had this chronic pain in my back for a very long time. And as our Father in the Lord was praying, and I stood up by faith, and he said, lay your hands on where you are experiencing anything. I put my hand on that back, and as the father, our Father in the Lord was praying, I experienced a sound, a cracking sound, and I knew that I got my healing instantaneously. And when I stretched and moved around, that pain is gone, and I give God all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Pastor finished praying tonight. She went to the bathroom to brush, and lo and behold, she was the gum was no more bleeding. And she came to meet me, and I told her you have been healed, and you need to share the testimony. We give God all the glory in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus, I'm my name precious, I come from any good region. I'm here to testify to the glory of God, what God has done for me in my life, through the man of God. God delivered me from 22 years of bed, waiting and spirit of headache since Thursday last week. And As you can hear from her, she's testifying that dead wetting 22 years, God, praise the Lord. The next one. Shaibu, we the outside church, Okiafa, Solo Lagos. This woman you can see is testifying from Lagos State, had strange movements in her body for 21 years. This had persisted, but after divine touch, that movement disappeared away. completely. Praise the Lord. And we have several more still coming. We we'll take this one from Bella Anastasia. It says, by the grace of God.
Now, while we are still waiting for more. And I'm from the young man you can see here said he had been falling into the right touch and came to see what after the right touch. He said he had a condition and his heart he knows that he is now completely safe. Praise the Lord. For Jesus, is that your clapping? Amen. Are the testimonies are going on? Please check yourself. You discover your own miracle. Join them in all seats. Don't many people are there already, but you can have your chance to give your own testimony. Join them. Now we take the next testifier, please. Make it brief so that more people will be given opportunity. Let's go, please. The next Praise question. the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, my name is Miss uh, Ades Zewibo from my boy state. The testimony I want to give is because what the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. He healed me and equally saved me from sin. Praise the Lord. Yes, before now I was having this problem of the eye that I cannot look directly to the screen or light like that. But now I can clearly see. I can clearly look directly to the screen. Praise the Lord. And as well, I gave my life to Jesus in the year 2018. But as time went on, the devil laid this doubt in my heart that he started telling me, am I sure that I'm saved? Something like that. I was troubled because of that feeling in me. I keep praying to God, even going in and out of altar call like that. But that doubt is still there in me. But by the special grace of God, Saturday night after the prayer of our dad in the Lord, I felt this peace in my heart. And now I can stand boldly and say that I'm saved. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. My name is Chuku Priscilla. I'm from Ankano District, Abai. I'm here to testify what the Lord has done for me. In this program of Divine Church, God hid me from a frequent urine on Sunday morning when I came here for service because I prayed unto God that only seeing the man of God, eye to eye, face to face, all my problem shall be gone. And as I have prayed, God answered my prayer. And again, today, that frequent urine 
God have healed me. Praise be to God. And again, BP. I came here with a symptom of BP. After praying to God, God healed me that BP. I am healed and I am okay in Jesus' name. I said the Lord who have done it for me, let his name be praised in Jesus' name. Put your hand together for Jesus. Frequent urine, gone. Also high blood pressure, gone. And he say he's short now. The next person, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Nathan Makwe. I'm from Manili local government. By the grace of God, I am born again. I want to testify what God has done for me in this crusade. Since 2019, I've been having health challenge from various hospitals. But what made me to come and testify is the serial pain I've been having here, within this joint here. It doesn't allow me to eat anything freely or to open my mouth freely. Each time I ate something, I'll be hearing noise of bones here. Not only that, I was living on drug. But when I was coming here on Thursday, I said I will never test any drug to see whether drug is greater than God. But by the grace of God, since Thursday, today, I never tested any drug, and I never died. I'm healthier than that. Praise the Lord. So yesterday, when our father-in-law was preaching, he said that is, you should touch the place where you are having pain, and uh, you should believe that God should heal you. So when he was running off his message, he said that uh, any sign of relief from the pain let us take it to be a kind of uh, a beginning of the healing. So I claimed it. So since that time, I've been having serious relief from these pains here. It was unfortunate that I did not give the testimony today, yesterday. But today, by the grace of God, the relief is more than that. And I'm so optimistic that uh, at this very pain is going, that other pains will join shoot and go. And I've, I'll be totally free as the man of God has pronounced. Praise the Lord. If you are clapping, clap very well for Jesus. The pain that he has been suffering from is gone and gone forever. He say he's going, but he's gone. The next person. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time, the Lord is good. Uh, my name is with the Michael. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm from uh, Atarele Art Group. Uh, really, God saw me through in this program. Since 25 years, I've been suffering from diabetes. And uh, every day, swallowing drugs, going from hospital to hospital, but no avail. But thank God, that for the Bible say, I will not spend my money on what is not bread. And he really did it for me in this program. Uh, after I came on Thursday, on Friday, after the prayer of man of God, in fact, I got my healing. The uh, reason why I did not take fast in that time is for me to, testify, to, to check myself. I don't eat other things people eat. I don't sleep very well. In the night, I bring buckets of water and put my legs because it will, my two legs will be too hot for me. But God has delivered me. And I say, may his name be exalted in Jesus' name. 25 years diabetes taken away on Friday. And he said he wanted to test, and he tested it. Now all the symptoms are gone. Put your hand together for Jesus. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Ohajua Deborah. Firstly, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul in the year 2006 by Pastor W.F. Kumui. I'm thanking God because that day has been a special day that has been keeping me till now. 
And I want to give thanks to the Lord for his mercies and loving care over my life. Praise the Lord! Some days ago, I had a serious pain at my right leg, the right leg tie joints. And I came here, though I believe I had a voice that if I come here and go back that Wednesday, that is God is not God. I came and I left. The pain was still there. It makes me to be limping. And I was like, God, you told me this. Does it mean you are not God? I believe despite everything you are. But thanks to the Lord, when I stayed Friday, when I stayed Thursday, Friday, and even now I am completely whole, like completely whole. So I'm here to give God all the glory. I'm not taking any for granted. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The pain on the knees that have been making her to limp was taken away. The next person, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm Benjamin. So I'm very glad to be in your midst. Firstly, I thank God for how he saved my soul. So my testimony is this. I'm here to testify how God removed that Adamic nature from me. I mean, he uprooted the root of sin out of my heart. Because I gave my life to Christ, I have my salvation, I'm working for the Lord. But you know, if you know you have given your life to Christ here, yeah, you know that if you do not have that second work of grace, your work will all be by struggle. I've been praying to God, give me this work of grace. My prayers seem to be not avail. But our Jesus told us that when Elijah was praying, he asked his servant, go out and look. The servant had a discouragement eyes. He looked and said, I saw nothing. And some people used to conclude their things like that. He said, you should not conclude. Keep praying and the Lord will locate you. So was it the day before yesterday? He was praying. He was talking about freedom. Remember the other program, the other global crusade, he came. He did not talk about that. He only talked about how to give your life to Christ. But this one, he stressed on that. So to cut the long story short, GS power came and reacted with the power of the Lord. And it came and formed freedom in my heart. May the men of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. His testimony in summary is that God sanctified him. The next testifier before we go to the online. Praise the Lord. My name is Sir Eko Loma Miracle. I'm here to testify how God healed me. For about a month now, I've been having a dislocation of my hand. I tried to carry a bag and um, all of a sudden I had a dislocation of my hand. But since I came here on Friday, God healed me. Um, on, I, I came out on Friday to give the testimony, but I just said, okay, let me go back and see if I will still feel the pain. But since that day till now, I am not feeling the pains again. Praise the Lord. And, my, and another testimony, on 2019, when I was in Owerri, I was doing a business. So a woman came to me and said, please help me. I want to start up this business in a little way. I should help him, give him some, go some goods that he is going to pay. She's going to pay me back. So I told her that I'm, I don't sell credit. I'm not going to give her. She begged me. I said, okay, I'll give you, but please try to return the money. She said, she accepted. I gave her the goods. Um, a week, two weeks, I couldn't see her. I called her. She said she's not going to pay me the money again. That she couldn't, she couldn't sell the goods. I said, okay, return them. If you can't sell them, return them. And she said, okay, but I couldn't. I didn't see her since 2019. When I came here, the pastor said that all we lost, we will get them back. When I was going on Sunday, I went outside the gate. I saw her outside the gate selling market. And I told her, madam, please give me my money. And she tried to deny it, but at the end of the day, she gave me the money. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. We quickly go to the online, briefly.
the doctors. And the only solution is that they will have to remove the ovaries and cross. But to the glory of God, after yesterday's prayer, she went back for the scan this she went back for the scan this morning to check. And according to the doctors, there is no more ovarian cysts. You can see those are the medical reports. Big names are bowing to the divine thought. Praise the Lord. And now we go for the live testimony from Edo State. Edo State Live. The testimony from Edo State, as we try to link up with them, we'll stand by Adamawa State now. Adamawa State Live. Adamawa State Live. Sister Deborah Chris from Yola region, Adamoa State. Praise the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for I want to thank the Lord for his healing hands upon my life. On Friday Precisely 9.30, many years ago, I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ at Campground Yola, Adamwa State. On a message, a night to be remembered. I thank God for that. I want to thank the Lord for his healing hands upon my life. On last crusade of our Father in the Lord at Caraba State, I was having a swell up in my secret parts of the body. To the extent that I hardly sit down, I hardly stand up. More than one week, I was suffering with this swell up in my body. So on the fifth day of that program, I was in the church. So as a prayer of the man of God, my father in the Lord was going on. The swelling got broken. And I went home before daybreak. That place where I was broken up, the water flowed out, the thing dried off, pain has gone. Praise the Lord. Not only that, another one is this. In this divine touch, I was I'm having an ulcer for more than five years. I used to feel fire burning in my back, from my waist to the chest. Fire, real fire is burning there. At times, if that fire starts burning in my back, I will look for somebody to give me ice block. Or if possible, I will lie down. Then they will be rubbing me in that ice block on my body to get relief from that fire that is burning in my body. But to, to my greatest surprise, in this crusade, when my father and the Lord was praying on Saturday night, after the prayer, I go home. I was not feeling anything, but I couldn't notice. The next day being the fourth day, nothing happened. Until today, that fire has gone. Nothing like us. Pray. group. I want to testify the goodness of God in my life. There is three things that God has done for me. He done for my daughter, he done for my son, and he done for 
me. Praise the name of the Lord. My testimony is going like that. During uh, uh, signs and wonders, my daughter called me that she's not okay. I said, what happened? She told me that they are going to do operation for her. I said, what is wrong with you? She said she saw her stomach is growing up. I said, ah, she went and scanned and see fibro and appendix. I said, why do you didn't tell me? And they are already booked the, the uh, 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 operation. Later she told me, I said, it's okay. I have to calm down. She said, no. She asked uh, people that they can check care of her. Before that time, uh, I told, I said, okay, the program is going on in Calabar. Let's wait for the miracle that God can do for us. She said, it's okay. She, we are continuing to pray and leader, they are praying. God took control. During the signs and wonders, we prayed. And our father in the Lord prayed. I connect her. Sometimes she's on duty. She cannot attend. I connect her with our daddy. I say, when her daddy is praying, just pray. And we are praying, God will intervene. Praise the name of the Lord. God has done it. She went and checked. She said, ah, Mommy, I'm not feeling anything again. Praise the name of the Lord. And a year the hand had been withered he couldn't lift or stretch it but after the prayer of the man of god tonight and we came to the final amen that withered hand came alive take a look at it the power of god praise the lord we now go to worry delta states worry delta states live. The Lord. the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Christina Egomon. By the grace of God, I am saved. I just want to testify the goodness of God upon my life. I am from a group, Deco Group Church in Worry. So, before this program started, about two weeks later, I have a pain on my breast part, one of my, side of my breast. So the pain was severe. I took drugs. Later, I come to one of our pastors here, he prayed with me, and the pain was still continue. But when the program started, I told God that this place I'm going to get my healing. So I came with that body to this place. I was sitting down in one of the chairs praying, but I felt that somebody touched me. I look around. As I open my eye, nobody touched me. So I saw the touch of the Lord. Since that day to today, the pain vanished. That is what the Lord did for me. Praise the Lord. Uh, for a live testimony, Calabar Live. Uh, uh, live. Live. about my health I was very down in health 20 2020 the thing tortured me I, I cannot sleep I went back to hospital I did tests as tests came out the results said it's pneumonia they treated us that's how I'm suffering suffering every night I cannot sleep in 2021 that's the same 
pens came two days, two weeks before the signs and wonders for the Niji. I went back to the hospital, teaching hospital. They referred me to do tests. I did four tests. As a result, came out. They said it was not pneumonia again, it's asthma. Ah, I shout, I say asthma. None of my family was suffering such sickness. As the uh, signs and wonder for the needy came on 22, I attended the signs and wonders for the needy. The day, second day, a GO about to play, pray. He declared, he said a word. He said, if you are here for signs and wonders, if you need it, grab it now. Immediately she want to, she started praying. He mentioned my case. That asthma from there disappeared. From today, still that day, today, I did not take any medicine. Even I can stand on farm. I can drink cold water. Everything. I'm, those things I'm not doing. I'm doing it now. Praise the Lord. Where Priye Ika wrote, do you remember the adverts, the advertisement for this program that told us that alerts will show all the way in United Kingdom? Alerts don't show. Priye said, I went for three different professional interviews, was offered job. The third one was during this program. On Friday, they took orders. But because I needed that same job, God made it in such a way that one of the other persons was turned down and Priye was taken. Alerts don't show. Divine touch has delivered. Praise the Lord. And mind you, COVID-19 is still bowing to the hand of divine touch. And this is coming all the way from Olono Shola from USA. He says, my symptoms were still there till yesterday. But after the prayer of the man of God yesterday, all the symptoms vanished. COVID-19 healed completely. Praise the Lord. And finally, before we return to the state of Asia, we'll take you to Abba Live. Abba in Abia State, Southeast Nigeria. Abba Live. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is uh, Patience Godwin Peter from Deeper Life High School, Abba Campus. By the grace of God, I am born again. If I want to testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. There was this pain, abdomen, abdominal pain I've been having severely. That thing has been coming and be going. But last week, this pain was so severe that I cannot control it. I have to take permission from my leader and go to hospital. I did lab tests. I did, uh, I did lab and they tell me that I'm having, I'm having bladder stone. I come back, the pain was so severe. I don't, and they asked me to go for, for, uh, for, for operation. Then my leader said that the program is already on. I should wait for the program. After the program, before we know what to do, that the Lord is going to touch me in this program. But by the grace of God, that the Lord touched me in this program. After the preaching and the prayer of the servant of God on Monday, which is yesterday, the Lord touched me and all those pain has gone. I am healed. Praise the Lord. We now return to the state overseer. Praise the Lord.
many testimonies. How many of you have got your own? Where are you? I've got my testimony. It shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. And there are a lot of people lining up here. Some are sitting there. They have all been interviewed and they have striking wonderful testimonies. But because of time, we're going to run off from here. And I want to tell you as you get back, give your testimony and keep sharing testimony, talking to your neighbor. This coming program, September 24, to October 3rd, what is the title again? The team. What's the team? Divine solution. And from here to that time, you will enjoy your miracle. So keep telling people, tell them to get ready because divine solution will come their way.